What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another solo leveling arise video. Alright guys, on the free to play account we're going to be doing the Battlefield of Time Baruka battle. I'm going to show you guys how I got second place, maybe I'll get first this time around, who knows. I did mess up a little bit on the, on the run here, but I do want to show you guys what I did and how I got it and what the setup is and then I'll do my, my pay to win one as well too for you guys so you guys can see best of both worlds. Before we go any further though, I do want to do my little summon here to see if I can get myself an Alicia to A1 on my free to play account been saving up for this so let's see what happens i may fail i may oh here we go here we go moment of truth man i was so damn close and i'm just like i gotta do this on stream i get much better luck on stream than i do off stream so let's see if i can pull off at least an alicia or i might lose the 50 50 and be really pissed off so let's see what happens here all right all right we got an sr as well so that's not a bad bro come on really that's amazing there's my a5 reduro family bow a5 officially as a free-to-play player that is incredible um i couldn't have asked for a better sr weapon besides west wind to get up there so let's see what we got here guys there we go there we go baby and we did it guys we got ourselves our a1 there it is this is as far i wanted to go to a2 but i don't have the currency for it so i'm happy though to say i've officially completed getting this part up now i'm happier than i've ever been on the free to play account so looking pretty damn fine guys uh there's my alicia we're looking pretty damn good honestly i'm i'm ecstatic about this because this now is also officially up there and i'm doing way more damage now so looking pretty damn good on the free to play folks all right here we go so now i just got to focus on this one up and I'm, I'm ready to rock so let's go ahead and do the baraka run so i'm gonna show you guys what i did how i set it all up and what you want to do if you want to mimic it if you're free to play this may help you this may not who knows but i do want to show you guys at least my progress on this okay so real quick uh before i do this any further let me just make sure i have this up here let's get that up i can't go any further right okay great so let's go in let's go in and focus on this all right, now, now I'm starting to see the, the, the loading bars you guys were all referring to, by the way. Okay, let's see if I can get myself a weapon here, and then we'll uh, we'll jump on. Okay, I apologize, guys. Give me two seconds here. Whoop. What do we get? Uh, nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay, still have yet to get a weapon drop from here. So here's what I did for the run, just so you guys are clear. This is my first attempt on it. Uh, so I got second place. It's free to play. You guys can see here, rank two at 142. I believe I can actually beat this, to be quite honest. Um, and I don't think I'm gonna fail at that anytime soon. So let's just show you guys my setup here. So I have West Wind and I have the um, what's its nuts? Orb of, Orb of Avarice, sorry. I should just read the title. Orb of Avarice and then I have for setups in terms of uh, skills, you guys can see here it's full on, full on attack as usual, full on strength I mean, sorry. And then uh, for my stones or my blessings I have the dagger and the crit. And then my skills, I have the two set up here. I've got the armor break with the fire here, and I've got myself, um, let's, you know what? I honestly don't even need this one, to be honest. I could probably just stick with this and be fine, but whatever, we'll leave it, we'll leave it for what it is. And then the second one I'm using here is going to be, uh, where is that, where is that? Uh, there we go, crosshairs. Okay, crosshair, I, I got vertical arts, I got lucky with an epic crosshair, so I've been using that as my go-to skill, just so you guys can see that one as well too. And then the actual uh, artifacts, lion expert expert probably not the best one to go with here to be honest very would be much better choice to choose with i'm still building a very set for my son uh once i get that ready i'll be running this more but yeah this is the current set i have no i have no choice at the moment i'm running out of gold you know how it is with free to play don't have much of an option okay so here we go let me show you guys the run it's a it's a little chaotic but it, it works so if this will help you guys sorry guys going to the wrong place if this helps i hope it does and don't forget guys to claim Claim the reward manually from the last one, okay? If you don't, you're gonna miss out on it. So let's go here. All right, so this is the team I'm gonna be running. Now I'm running two breakers for a reason because I wanna break this guy quick. You don't wanna kick him, have him kicking around without a break. So try to break him, take him out quickly. Now the, the weapons, of course, I'm running are, are gonna be the uh, Orb of Avarice and West Wind. So let's jump in here and I'll show you guys how this run is done all the way through. And you guys can hopefully mimic it, copy it however you need to, uh, and take advantage of this. And hopefully it'll help you guys get the highest score you possibly can. So go around here. Do this. This should hit the orb as well. You guys can kill this one right here. Perfect. There it is. Here you guys can just west wind everything. If if they're all together. If not, that's fine. Not the end of the world. Uh, try to save all your guys here, guy, for for the actual boss. Okay. So normally I finish this really really quickly. Uh, that was a little messed up because my west wind was out of place. Uh, but we still did pretty good. Okay. So there you guys go. Now, boss wise. The first thing you want to do is just let him. Don't summon your shadows here, by the way. Just let him. Uh, let him do his thing. Bring him out. You want him to do this. And you want to shadow step right through if you can. I did not have shadow step available, so that was my bad. 
Okay, here we go. Crosshairs through. Again, you want to have your break ready for this, so make sure you're available to do that too. Okay, there's a hit on my end. Go. This is where you want to shadow step. This right here. West wind. And then get ready for his actual icicle move. You should have your break ready for the next part, okay? So have your break ready. He's going to come down at you right now. There we go. Perfect. Get your breaks in. There we go. Perfect. Got that in. Some of your shadows. Get as much damage in as you can. And hopefully you can kill him. If not, oh, well, there we go. We got it. 126. So that's how you do a full run right there. I was what? Two seconds short. I made my first run a little bit, a little bit crappy, but you guys can see here I could definitely get it faster if we do it again. So let's all right, guys. So here we go. This is how we're gonna set this one up. Now, inspiration comes out from my boy Ty Pal. I'm gonna direct his video on this one. I'm gonna show you guys how he did it. Now he uses two different accounts. Okay, this is, he has a free to play account and a pay to win account. I'm gonna show you guys his run real quick because this is where the inspiration comes from. This guy is a pro player. I've been saying this since day one. I've been promoting his channel, and this is going to be a very similar run to how he does it. Now check his out. Check his run out first. It's pretty insane. So he's running the exact same build as me. I actually didn't watch his video until now. Uh, we have a little bit different positioning here, but you'll see what he does here, right? And it's very, very, very similar in terms of how we set this up. But look at that. The damage is insane here. So I just want to give him the credit where credit is due. That was six seconds, by the way, how quickly he killed that. Now, Baruka here, you want to pop off right here real quick. Uh, without holding too much, you need to get that crit off. If you shadow step here, Vulcan's Orb or uh, Orb of Everest, and then you can crosshairs right there. 25.98 seconds. My boy is a beast. Uh, always killing it. So I'll put this video in the description if you guys want to watch the full thing and copy that. So I have inspiration from his. It's actually pretty much exactly the same. I've done the same setup. The only difference here I had before was I actually didn't have SM Beck here, which was a genius move on his end. And I'm going to try to copy and see if I can do it. So, again, credit to him on this one. I go in the middle here, though, and do it, just so I don't mess up anything here. I still do this. Same scenario as him. Summon SM back. Hold your gun here. Hopefully pop off and kill this guy. See how that, that was a little bit off? So, that's where the difference is. My, my for some reason, my shadow, or my, um, my black hole doesn't kill quite as fast as his does. So, we have a little bit of a dilemma there in that regard. And I'm not sure what exactly causes that issue to happen, but... It is what it is. There you guys go. So 11 seconds there versus his six seconds, which is insane, by the way. Ty, you crazy, bro. Okay, so here we go. Summon your guys. Here again, you want to pop this off quick. Try to get min in, get shadow step. So same scenario. You guys can see here. The, the, it's pretty much the similar setup and go to uh, differences. You guys can see here. He he killed. I didn't. Right. So very very different in that regard. So my seconds are going to be a little bit slower than his because of that. And we're going to go ahead. We have to shadow step this part. He doesn't even have to deal with this part, which is crazy. So here and then here. That should kill it. Right there. There you guys go. 45 seconds. It'll be better than the last time. I can definitely get it down to 30 depending on my crits. But that's essentially how you do it. Now, if you don't have a couple of these options, I'm going to help you guys out here. So SM Beck is a great option because he gives you the 20% attack. If you don't have him, use Libora. Libora will gather everybody together and will do the 15% charm. If you manage to kill those guys fast enough and the boss pops up as well too, you'll also be able to get that out of the way as well at the same time and put the charm on. Now, Min is great, of course, because he's adding the extra 15% punishment bonus. So if you can summon him as soon as Baruka pops up, you guys can do West Wind and hit even harder, and then you'll have 15% more damage for that 20 seconds. I don't even think I summoned him. I think that was also a problem of why I didn't get a chance to kill him. I probably could have got a done it done it there, but if I look back in the video, I'm positive I actually did not summon him at all. Uh, Emma's not necessary. You don't even need her. I ideally, you can use Choi if you want, even for, for more fire damage. Again, not necessary. Cha is also a good option here. So whichever one you want to use to help kill the second boss off, you can. West Wind, of course, you're going to need to have some power into it um, my a3 west wind did pretty good um, my a10 west wind obviously does way better so make sure you have those things available to you so uh, there you guys go a couple decent runs uh, this one here was obviously the best one at 45 seconds i know i can get down to 30 something so again shout out to ty pal and everyone else who thought of these strats amazing as usual i showed you guys my free to play account so you guys can watch my strat there the only difference i would have changed with my free to play account now is my positioning for crosshair to get a little bit more damage out on that initial attack so i'm going to go back and do that and get first place and then we'll talk to you guys in the next video thank you again for watching we'll see you later